Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Friday the 29th of March. The local media headlines today. Truro's footballers head to Gloucester this evening for another home match as they try to complete their current schedule of fixtures for this season. Their new home ground, currently under construction at Langarth, had been due for a football association pitch inspection this week. That hasn't happened putting a question mark over whether the new ground will indeed be ready for the start of next season. What's really odd is that Cornwall Council is spending £11 million on the project and yet says it doesn't know anything about how to get the pitch certified. I wonder if it'll be used for football at all. There's another example of how the rules are different for Truro when you go down the hill to Pydar. That extra £10 million for the regeneration project approved by Cabinet last week gets distinctly less popular the further you travel. Who's going to be brave enough to be the first political group leader to promise now that they won't spend money on another culture bid and it probably will stop raining one day. Indeed, it's hard to believe that only two years ago we had a hosepipe ban. The BBC was among those to report that this year it seems highly unlikely there will be a drought. The reservoirs are nearly full. Colliford is never completely full because it leaks so badly. Pirate FM looks forward to this year's Boardmasters Festival. The St Ives Times and Echo is out today and reports the week's good news about the town's swimming pool. The Cornish Times covered a community chat-in at Calstock. The Falmouth Packet reported yesterday's blustery winds. And finally, Cornwall Live was, quite literally, in its element. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.